Hello chess lovers, Soren here and in this video I want to share with you a very beautiful chess puzzle composed by American chess composer Gustavus Charles Reichel. This was first published in 1904 and the task is to win with the white pieces. You can pause the video and try to find that solution. Ready? Uh, well, quite possibly you remember this puzzle which I have already shared with you earlier. This one was composed by Paula Medelipman and Lionel Kizerisky. And Reichelm's puzzle is actually the thematic elaboration of this one, with significant changes, of course, but still we have a lot in common. The staircase pattern uh, remains the same. In case you missed Lipman's and Kizerisky's puzzle, the link will be in the comment section. But meanwhile, let's take a look at this one, where despite the fact that white is a piece down, White is managing to win, relying on the fact that this black king is trapped on a8. Uh, right now you have to be very careful and all you can do is to avoid stalemate is moving forward your h-pawn, thus allowing black to make a move. Uh, let's go for h4, although as you can see h3 is equally strong. Let's allow black to capture en passant. And we have king h1, a very important move with which white is stopping black from announcing any possible unpleasant checks, uh, thus uh, forcing a draw. h2 by black, and there we have it, it's high time to push forward the g pawn, thus allowing black to move once again. f takes g4, and only now we can win this h pawn. g3 check, king g1, g2, and this time we have f5. All the time white is sacrificing a pawn in order to gain a precious time and make a progress f4. And in here actually there are two equally strong moves. King f1 and a4 are equally strong. Both are allowing to announce checkmate in 20 moves. Let's go for a4. f3 check. And again we have king f1. Otherwise, yeah, as in all the other lines, if you make a different move like king g1 then black can easily draw the game yeah we have a stalemate that's why we have king f1 again uh, gaining a precious tempo and then sacrificing a pawn d takes e6 king takes f2 e5 king f3 but the difference between these two puzzles is that in this case black has an extra piece and suddenly uh, this bishop is managing to get activated but as this black king is still trapped White will now win the game. a5, bishop e4 check, a cunning move. Uh, black is provoking, king takes e4, but in this case we will have a stalemate on the board. That's why to bishop e4 check, white is answering with king e2. Uh, king e3 is also winning, uh, but uh, king e2 is more precise, is allowing to announce a check made faster. King e3 with a triangulation. White managed to put his opponent in Tsukzavank. And now if you move away your bishop from a4 e8 diagonal, white pawn will step forward. And if you keep it on that diagonal, white king will step on e4. Uh, that's why in order to prolong the resistance, black is pushing forward his e pawn. And we have king d4. Finally, black is in Tsukzavank and is forced to give up this pawn. Bishop b5, still keeping the bishop on the diagonal in order to stop this pawn. And now white king is going near to black king. c7 is the square where white king wants to land. Bishop c6 check king e5. Bishop b5 king e6. Bishop c6 king e7. Of course you should not hurry with d7. That will allow black to draw the game. Bishop e8. Of course, we want to win that bishop, king d8, bishop a4. And finally, white king is tapping on c7. Go on, buddy, that's your square. Yes, king c7 and it's over. For example, if we move like bishop b5, then a6 is winning. If bishop takes a6, then uh, d7. And if we move like b takes a6, if you accept the pawn sacrifice then b7 check is coming followed by b8 checkmate yeah after king c7 it's pretty much over right for example if bishop c6 then anyways a6 is winning yeah just no way out 
Is there a way to prolong the resistance? No. For example, if here, then this time d7 is winning, Black King is getting checkmate hit, and this is how the solution goes. Will be interesting to know which one you liked most uh, Lipmas and Kizariski's puzzle or Rakan's puzzle. Leave your comments, please, and let us know. Well, in the end, an interesting chess puzzle for you. Please take a look at this position where Carlos Torre was playing against Frank Parker, and in here he resigned, uh, thinking that his position is hopeless, but actually, the one who can win is white. The task is to find the winning line for white. As usual, we'll wait for your answer in the comment section. Feel free to check out my early uploads as well. We'll see you in my next video. Take care.